Hey buddy, how you doing? I see you sitting kind of forward. I like that. I like that a lot. Nope, see, now you're shifting backwards. But you were forward, which, that's progress, I think. How about you, little ones? You doing good? You look good. And you guys survived your first night without the heat lamp. Good job. Good job, Dizzy. Oh, yeah. I didn't think it's, I gave him a little kickstand with that rock, but I don't think he balanced too well. Come on, bud. Have a drink? Yeah. There you go. Get a drink, bud. There you go. Stand up on your own. That's a good chick. That's a really good chick. Nice. Yeah, we're definitely going to be keeping the band on you, because I think it's definitely helping. My right, chick. So this is just a meat chicken, but I would like to try and save him, get him up walking again. He's only going to be here for about 12, maybe 14 weeks, but I want all those weeks to be really happy weeks, and I want him to be able to forage around and be a chicken. So I'm going to head up to the barn, get all the other animals out, and then me and my dad might be coming up behind the barn to work on the goat hut a little bit today. Hey, bon Bonnie! What are you doing? Barn animals. Hey, Bonnie, come here, Gator. Come here. <coughs> Oh, come here, Bonnie. There you go, Bonnie. Hey, ducks. Gina. Sedgwig. What's in there, puppy? Ducks. Got two ducks in here. I gave the injured khaki a friend yesterday. All right, ducks. You know what? Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Come on. Come on, ducks. The ducks are just too loud. How about you, Gina? Are you my big Gina? You are my big Gina, so I don't want to push you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, good jump, girl. Papa, you didn't have to do that. Hi, goats. Hey, guys, hold on. I'm going to get you out. Come on, chickens. Green queen. So last night I got up to the barn a little bit later than usual and all the ducks were already putting themselves to bed, but Pebbles, the black runner, and the injured khaki were out here in the middle pen. I don't know if they were trying to stay away from the rest of the flock or they just made a wrong turn coming into the barn. But since they were both outside, I figured I'd put them both into the ICU so the khaki had a little bit of company last night. So I gotta pull Pebbles out of there and then I'll get the khaki out, wash her bill up, and put a new layer of salve on for the day. Check out that bill. She is doing so much better. Almost completely healed. She still has that crack on one side, but I'm not sure how long that's gonna take to heal. It's actually a separation, so I don't know if it's actually ever gonna bond back together. But I'm pretty happy with the progress here with the khaki. She's not 100%, but she is well on her way. Hopefully this doesn't break open again at this point. Huh, khaki. And now she's all salved up, ready for a fun day of foraging. There you go, girl. Goats, your turn. All right, goats. Get down, get down, stay down. What'd I just say? Get down, goats, get down. Get off your brother. Don't bite. Come on. Come on, goat. Hey, chicken seed. Come on, Echo, move. Move. Come on, come on. Go, go. Echo, move. Get in there, goats. Good job, guys. You found your bull. Good job, goats. Bonnie, get out of there. You can't go in with the goats. You'll end up like the other limping Bonnie. Come on. Goats, don't worry about you. Oh, you are limping Bonnie. Maybe that's why you got it. Silly. Chicken's a little bread treat here. 
Yeah, there you go, girls. Time for water and feed. So out here at the goat hut, I have two stretches of chain link fence that I want to get attached, hopefully today. We have one post starting here, this red post, comes one post over, and then down the line to the end of the corner. It doesn't wrap around the front, so we just have two poles to do on this side and two poles to do on the other side. Where it attaches to the building, on each side of the building, I'm gonna have a gate right here so the chain link won't come all the way to it. And then as it comes to the front, it'll stop at the corner post because I'm gonna have a gate right here and then fencing and a gate right there coming off the other corner. I haven't landed 100% on it, but I probably won't put chain link across the front. I would rather have the silver two x four welded wire fencing so it's easier to see through. It's just a cleaner look. But the plan is to hopefully get the two sets of chain link fencing stretched out and attached to the sides. Did I forget your hay goats? They have hay, but I guess they want more. Huh, goats? You want some good fresh dry stuff, huh? There you go, all fresh hay for you for the new day. Huh, you getting some bigger horns on you? No horns on flop yet. What are you doing, big Gina? You're just a lone wolf, aren't you? You just don't like hanging out with the other birds. Well, all the animals are taken care of this morning. Probably eat breakfast, and then me and my dad will come out here and start working on that chain link. So we got all the animals taken care of on the property. I'm gonna go in, eat some breakfast, and then me and my dad are gonna go up behind the barn and try and work on that chain link. Also today, I wanna put that chick with the splayed legs or spraddle leg into another fixed position to try and get some more weight over top of his feet. So uh, we'll see what I can figure out for that. Oh buddy, he's been doing so good he can actually stand up and walk a little bit. There you go bud, watch out. <clears throat> yeah, you can see that foot's open and he's putting some weight directly on his legs. So it's really good to see. He's working on your balance. Yeah. Let's get some food. Come on. Stay up. There you go. He's getting better. stretch bone dripping dripping water off of this we get held yep So we're using some C-clamps to hold this chain that I have, two-part chain, and to a piece of rebar to try and stretch it. We're using a ratchet strap and anchoring it to the tractor for this one.
So this side's all stretched out and taut right now. I got this corner stapled in. I'm gonna get this next four by four. And then we have these gate hinge pins that we're gonna take off so I can use them for one of my gates. And then we have some metal bracket pieces that are gonna go around the metal pipes to attach the chain link to the piping here. And then I can finish it off by stapling it to the last post here. You can see the contraption we have going on here. And so far it's working. So hopefully it holds tight whenever we release it. And we're gonna have another step to hold the belly up and the top up from actually slacking down in the future. Probably how anybody else would do it. Okay, back in. Can do that better. You didn't get your nut though. You still got square. No, I'm fine. Okay. Oh, hi, pup. You right there. It's and the chicken I'm not going to do anything different with right now. He's been doing so much better. That's him in the corner. And he's doing a lot better. Standing up on his own right now. Putting some weight on the feet over top of the feet. And uh, trying to get that muscle to stand up all by himself. Yeah, there you go, buddy. He's been walking even with the bandage still on him. I think it's still on him. He might have snapped at this point. Come on, bud. Um, no, bandage is still on him. Yeah, you're doing so good, buddy. You're doing so good. Like I said before, this is not going to be a one-day fix. So it's going to be a process trying to get this chick to a full health so it can run around with all the other ones as we get them out onto the pasture in the chicken tractor. And uh, we're going to have them for about 12 weeks. So hopefully we can get them nice and healthy and running around.
we finish up the last section of the chain link fence. We have both sides taken care of and fenced in now. I am going to come in here and add some tension cable probably at two feet and at the top. So I think we're at the right tension point where you can squeeze it and you get just a little bit of flexion. But we got both sides on and tight even tied up at the top of the post so we're actually doing pretty good for the fence here. I'm going to have to cut this off with the grinder just to cut it to length. But it's nice that we had two uh, full length pieces to make it all the way to the ends. And I have some more chain link back there to do some more projects as well. I am going to have to get this gate welded that I have built behind the uh, goat hut right now. This gate right here, I'm going to have to get marked out so all the pipe are in the right order whenever he takes it and welds it. I'm going to have my brother weld it and then this is going to be going on the front of the goat enclosure. These gates back here are going to be pallets on this side and the other side of the hut. And then I have a matching green panel one to go on the man gate right here. Rain's starting to come down right now, but we are making progress out here on the goat enclosure. That's going to be all for this one. You can see me and Echo on the next one. Thanks for watching. Aw, oh, puppy, my seat's all wet.